Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all well. In this video, we are going to be unboxing this WEP 948-2 hot air gun rework and soldering station. So this soldering station was purchased from Amazon for some soldering work that we need to do. Uh, specs wise, uh, it's the three in one version, uh, which obviously comes with the, uh, the hot air gun, the soldering iron itself, and also a desoldering gun as well. Uh, temperature wise the uh, hot air gun itself gets up to a temperature of around 400 degrees centigrade uh, as well as the soldering iron uh, which is kind of ideal for you know some of the uh, surface mount devices uh, that we need to rework uh, when we're repairing some of our Xboxes. So uh, let's get into the unboxing and see what you get. It uh, was a new version which I found on Amazon uh, I paid around £200 for it. Uh, I noticed that there's no reviews on Amazon for it at the minute, so buying it a little bit blind. Uh, so let's see what we've got. So first things first is the user manual. Obviously, like probably most soldering stations, uh, yeah, this is uh, made in China. Uh, so obviously the instructions are uh, in Chinese but also in English as well. So I'll we'll read of those later. A little warranty card there. First things first, this looks to be the desoldering gun. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And the actual uh, solder iron itself. Okay. Yep. So let's pull those to one side for a minute. Now this one comes bundled with some spare elements. Now this looks to be a spare elements for the actual heat gun itself. Yep. Uh, and elements for the soldering iron as well. Uh, some kind of soldering heat pad by the looks of things. A pair of tweezers. Uh, some tips for the desoldering gun and some of the springs for that as well. Got some desoldering braid as well. Some flux. What else have we got here? Okay, this uh, this looks to be, uh, this has got air extraction on it as well, so it looks like the tube for extraction, I believe, but I guess, or this could actually be uh, the tube which uh, sucks the solder away from the desoldering gun. Power cable. I'm in the UK, so standard UK power cable and the kettle type socket on there, or plug on there, I should say. Holder for the uh, hot air gun and some uh, tips for the hot air gun. So you've got one, two, three, four different types of tips. One with a square one and then all different size nozzles as well. Not sure what that is, but it looks to be a couple of tips for what I presume is part of the desoldering gun the actual unit itself and it is quite heavy to be fair so let's move that to one side we'll go back to the box in a second let's get this unboxed and have a proper look and see what we've got so obviously it's a desktop uh, kind of setup control button there, which I imagine adjusts the temperature and uh, span and the speed of the fan. Some memory bu buttons there, vacuum on and off, auto manual, and then to the front of it, that's obviously where the uh, hot air gun plugs into, as well as the soldering iron. And I imagine that's where the uh, desoldering gun plugs into. It's so obviously where he gets his air to suck the solder. And a couple of power switches. Now, 
its metal casing, which is good, nice and sturdy. Obviously to the rear, main power switch, and uh, obviously where you plug the uh, power cable into as well. So it's quite a nice unit. As I say, quite heavy, but quite compact. When you think it's three in one, it's uh, actually quite a compact device. Yeah, not bad at all. Right, so let's just uh, go back to the box and see what we find in here. So the holder for the soldering iron itself. It's nice. It's got uh, the sponge to wipe your soldering iron tip and uh, some of the uh, copper uh, soldering iron tip cleaner built in, which is good. And then the actual hot air gun itself, which obviously connects to the front of the unit. And you obviously put your uh, preferred uh, tip on the uh, end of it, depending on what size you are. Uh, yeah, you prefer for your airflow. Quite good. And then I think I skipped over this. We have the um, clamp which holds the uh, air gun, which we put onto the side there. So, as I say, two hundred pounds from Amazon. Got the hot air gun, soldering iron, and then also, which I've never used before, this, the desoldering gun. Now, I imagine, I imagine how it works, is you, know, you have some power to the actual gun itself, uh, and then this, I imagine, is the vacuum, which then sucks the solder uh, through for you, and I imagine it's the actual the excess solder which you're sucking is held here somewhere. As I say, never used it before. But what I'll do is obviously I'll get it all powered up and we'll uh, do a few demos and a bit of testing and see how we get on with it. So overall, for the money you pay, you know, 200 pound is probably one of the more expensive soldering stations I would say from the uh, the China grade soldering stations so we say you know quite a few of them they are around you know the hundred pound figure so it's probably much double the price you would pay but you kind of do get quite a lot for your money included so um, yeah I will get it powered up uh, and do a little bit of a, a playing around with it, do a bit of a demo and we'll, we'll uh, release that video uh, once we've had a chance to actually play around. So anyhow, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate your view. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the bell notification button uh, because when I post a video of the demo, you'll get notified when that's live. Um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. That's always much appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. See you all again soon.